Hello my YouTube family, it's Lively if new gaming, bringing you guys another episode of Sunday Sit Down. Uh, so if you guys are new to the series and have never seen one, it's pretty much where it's a series where it's like me per talking about things that are personal or important to me. And uh, today, I, it's something really extremely personal, uh, I guess you could look at it in that way anyway. But yeah, as you guys see by the topic or the title, uh, faith, faith is hard. And, um, and what I mean by that is not like the general conception that I think a lot of people, they don't really, uh, get into it and purposely dis distance themselves from, you know, religion and whatnot, uh, is that, you know, there's a bunch of circumstances and rules you have to follow, which makes your life a lot more boring and a lot less fun and all that. And, you know, they just look at this, do the stuff they, they, they like to do. So that's why they stay away from it. And it's not like that at all. I mean... Me being a religious person, I know that uh, I, I don't follow, uh, you know, the, the Ten Commandments or whatever. I don't follow yeah, everything I say I do or should. I don't I do not do that. And I don't fret about it. I don't throw a fit. I don't make a big deal about it. <clears throat> I mean, I just, you know, I ask for forgiveness and I believe I am forgiven. So, you know, I, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've, I've committed big sins. I've done bad things. Uh, you know, nothing like murder or anything. This is my confession of murder, but no. Um, I've done a lot of stuff, and I, I've never, I've never really even worried about, been worried about it, you know. I mean, I have, of course, I wanted to change, and I felt guilty over what I did wrong, and this, and, and things of that nature, you know. But, um, I know that I'm forgiven, so it's, it's not anything that's burdening me, so it, it's easier to let it go because of what I believe. And, you know, I just wanted to get that out of the way as a general misconception that people have. There are, like, things that the Bible tells you and whatnot that you should follow, but I can I can tell you out of personal experience, um, and this is about to get really personal here, so uh, you may want to stop watching now, I guess, but, uh, you know, like, <laughs> the warning not to have sex before marriage, I, I can tell you that's that's, uh, that's a good one to follow, definitely. I I was in a relationship for almost three years with a, with a girl, and... You know, it did end up going uh, going sideways, not the way I expected, and I I, I wish I, I wish with everything that I have that I had never I had never gone gone and did what I did, uh, you know. But it, it wasn't anything like you know a, a one night stand or anything. And I thought I was going to be committed. I thought it, I thought we were going to get married. To be honest, I thought it was going to be something serious and long lasting. But it turns out that my knowledge to, my knowledge failed me. My knowledge as a person and as a human being failed me. And what I what I thought was going to happen was not was not so. And uh, things changed and things happened. And if I had followed that. If I had followed that instruction, uh, I, I would I would have a lot less regrets in my life so far, and it, it's, it's tried and true. I, I, if if you if you look at all the rules and you you don't apply them to your life, or if you do, you can you can see firsthand yourself personally why why they're laid out for you. It's not to limit you. It's not to keep you from having fun or enjoying the good things in life. It's to prevent you from the, you know the hurt and pain that can come from making decisions. Uh, before you're really ready to do so, and I, it got really personal there, but it's 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 the the honest truth, like 110 percent. So yeah, um, that that's that's what that's what that, all that is about, and I, I can tell you that personally. And a lot of people that um, you know, they're distant from God, or they don't really believe, or you know, they just think it's it's all foolish. And it is, it's, it's like, it seems like a cultural or, you know, societal conception that it's okay to not really believe anything, but when someone talks about their beliefs or wants to share them with someone who doesn't share the same, like, the same beliefs, it's like, uh, you're kind of making me uncomfortable saying all that. I don't want to hear that. I don't believe the same thing as you. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. So it, it, it's hard. It's hard to try and stay faithful. It really is. It becomes quite difficult, uh, especially with a lot of people that, don't agree with you and look down upon what you say or what you th what you think. Um, but I'm telling you, if if you've never experienced uh, like it personally, and I, I know I'm going to sound really sappy and kind of cliche, probably a message you guys heard before, but I, I feel like I have to say it because it's it's tried and true in my life as well. If you've never experienced like a personal relationship with God and actually sought Him out, I mean, oh God, show me, show me, do a miracle, mm, show me something so I know that you're real. I mean, you can't you can't really expect that. You gotta. Be patient and accept that maybe if, if God is ready when it's uh, a time at a time He chooses, He may reveal Himself to you and you may experience something very real. But you have to you have to kind of seek it out and you know through all the, all the trials in my life that 
I've experienced. I know that despite, you know, the way that people may frown upon it or, you know, try to distance themselves from what I believe and not want to say or share the same, same beliefs. Like when I got in an incident with my father and he was arrested because of a fight we got in and it was a serious fight. Um, I had, I had, I had nothing. I had nothing in the world besides the, like, cause like I, I, I couldn't talk to anybody really. I had nothing at, at that point, but I've actually, if you go back to the Sunday sit down series, I talked to people in Sunday sit down about what had happened with my father. Sunday sit down violence. If you, if you go through my channel, you can check it out. Uh, I don't know if anybody wants to, but the only thing I had, the only thing I had at that point was my faith and, and I, I can't really give you a piece of tangible evidence, but if you want to know, then my faith and my belief was the only thing that really got me through the what I experienced in that in that case. It was the only thing that uh, you know strengthened me. And I just want to encourage you guys this week. And I know it got really personal, and it got really like talking about faith seriously. Like, oh, uh, preacher Josiah, preach some more, why don't you? And I and I know I'm being sarcastic and whatnot, but a lot of people do look at it that way. It's kind of it kind of saddens me. It doesn't upset me. I just wish that some people would be more open minded. But yeah. Today I wanted you guys to give you some insight into my life and you know a personal a bit, bit of a personal story and you know I guess kind of my, my faith experience I don't know it's and the reason I do these videos is not to preach at you and oh you guys are going to hell and you're all bad um, it's just that I want to I want people to know what I know in my life and experience what I've personally done uh, what, what I personally have experienced and the truth that I know. And I want people to have the unhappiness that I have in my life. And if you really, if, if the biggest drawback, I know I have no more footage here and I'm still talking, but if the biggest drawback to you is, oh, I can't do what I want if I'm supposed to be religious, just just give it a chance. And if you really want to keep doing whatever you're doing that's technically a sin or whatever, no one's going to look down upon you and you're not going to, you know, not going to curse yourself even more. I mean, it, it, you can just ask for forgiveness and if you really can't stop doing it, uh, then then don't be away from God just because of that. I mean, he'll forgive you. So, yeah, that's that. I know Preacher Josiah here today. <laughs> but uh, this the reason I do this, what I was, which I was saying, is that every every time I do one of these videos, when it, either it was just about sharing my story about what, when, what I went through in the violence or, you know, sharing a bit of my faith, even people that are atheists or whatever have said that they, they appreciate me sharing this. Uh, some people have said that they, they like that I, I'm, I'm kind of sharing what I believe and putting, you know, my faith into everything that I do, especially YouTube. And some people have said they really appreciate that and they like that and want me to continue to do so. And some people have said that I've really helped them. So even if there's only one person every time I make one of these videos, it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep doing it because if I help one person, then then, then what else in my life uh, can, I, can I justify doing as a good way to spend my time besides helping people. So that's kind of why I do these. I know I've run out longer than I had gameplay, but I had a lot I had to say. So hopefully this this isn't um, too much for you guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Yowsh damn it. God bless.